when I first got into software engineering, I thought the most difficult part was going to be the code itself, like learning new technologies, understanding the syntax between JavaScript classes and how they're actually just syntactical sugar and then async JavaScript and other languages like Python or Java or different things like that. And as I've been working professionally as a full-time software engineer the last handful of years, I've come to find that the most challenging aspect for me is not the code itself. And what kind of made me realize this is over the last handful of weeks, I've been spending a lot of my time as well as other people on my team have been spending a lot of time on just upgrading packages and managing different versions of those packages. Like we recently had to upgrade React in our tech stack. We had to upgrade AWS Cognito. We had to upgrade our Amplify. We had to upgrade a whole bunch of different other things, Django REST framework. And the amount of time that this took and the difficulty of doing all this has made me realize that this is like one of the most difficult things for me at least. Because for one, I don't necessarily enjoy this type of work like it's kind of a necessary evil and for two it can be really tricky to know like okay i upgraded this package which caused an issue in this other package and then we have to actually downgrade the version of this package so it's compatible with this package and it is just kind of this whole you know cluster f of a bunch of different things that we're we're trying to do and figure out because sometimes it's hard to just upgrade one package because then it's not compatible anymore with a different package. So you have to upgrade that package and that package isn't compatible with a different package. And it can be really, really challenging. And for me, this is probably the most difficult aspect of software engineering. So a few pieces of advice for kind of handling this, or at least things that I found that have been helpful is for one, just taking it one step at a time. I think with, with any challenging software engineering task, in general, trying to really break it down and just take it one step at a time is particularly helpful. And kind of along those same lines, trying to upgrade slowly rather than just jumping to the latest version right away. Like in our application, we were several versions behind for our, we use something for our tables that we use within our application. And we were several packages behind and we tried to upgrade just jumping to the latest and of course, it broke several things. So what I found is a much better approach is kind of incrementally upgrading from version to version, making sure things work, and then upgrading from there. So rather than jumping from you know version 5 to version 7.5, go from version 5 to maybe 5.5, and, and then 5.5 and to version 6, and then version 6 to 6.5, and, and then to 7, and do it kind of progressively. Because often you'll find, okay, when I jump from version six to six and a half, that's where a breaking change occurs. And that's where the issue kind of comes about. And you can solve that a lot easier if you know what specific version actually caused the issues in your application. So taking it one step at a time, upgrading slowly. And then also something that uh, I was guilty of, especially early on, is not actually like thoroughly reading the upgrade documentation and of course sometimes the upgrade docs can be wrong but taking the time to like read through those and see the changes and understanding the changes that need to be made and any breaking changes that the docs mentioned that can you know it can take a lot of time to kind of sift through the docs and figure out okay these are all the changes that occurred and this is what might break in our application but doing that can save you a lot of time down the road to where in the past I've just upgraded it, not read the docs. And then that upgrade cost issues. And then it just takes more time in the long run to figure that out. So uh, similar to making sure that you actually read error messages when something goes wrong, make sure to actually read the upgrade docs and actually take time to understand them has at least helped me a lot. And then finally, I do this with a ton of my software engineering tasks and it seems to help my productivity a lot, is if you get stuck on it for a while, it can be really helpful to move to a different task and then come back to whatever task that you're stuck on. So for us, like upgrading our version of React, it was just this whole thing. There was a lot of different packages that needed to be upgraded with that as well. So it took 
a handful of days to kind of get that all sorted through. But one thing that I would do is that, okay, I'm going to just work on this for two or three hours today and then move on to a different task and still make progress elsewhere. So it didn't feel like I was just completely fatiguing myself by just kind of bashing my head into all this version control and stuff like that. And this applies to not just this kind of challenging part of software engineering, but to any task that, and it could be like not a particularly complex task. It just could just be something that you get a little bit stuck on and it starts taking a long time rather than getting frustrated on it and just kind of spinning your wheels, moving to another task. And then the following day coming back to it, especially if you're not on a super hard deadline, the following day coming back to it with a fresh mind can really, really be helpful. And there has been several times where I've come back to something the next day and I solve it right away because I'm just under a lot less fatigue from doing that task. So for me, one of the hardest parts about software engineering is managing version dependencies and managing different packages and upgrading and all that stuff. But hopefully with kind of that advice there, it helps you out. But man, if you have any good advice when it comes to this, leave it down in the comments below because this is definitely one area of software engineering that I don't particularly love, but it's kind of, you know, just part of the job. So yeah, let me know if you have anything to comment on. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning into this and I'll see you in that next one.